more cautious now, like with relationships and stuff. Like that's why I really want to get to know somebody before I even like. Especially living with them. Yeah, that too. Because when you live with somebody, you really get to know that person. Exactly. Like yeah. fully. Yeah, you you do. Like you, you was hey the things that you didn't know that person do. When y'all talking, talking back, when y'all talking back and forth on the phone, and y'all stand here, and they stand there, and then yeah. y'all live together. Oh man, that's a different, different. Like two chains. The youngest, the youngest, the youngest fellas. Different. Man, it's it, totally different. That boy. I'm talking about shit. Uh, tear your shit up, bleach your shit. Man, you must be back with her. I'm the telling. Next day, or two days later, cause you're gonna be thinking, you're gonna be like, man, I pay, I pay bills at the house too. Well, what the hell? I'm... Right. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm, I'm go, going back there. I'm going, I gotta go back. Gotta up. <laughs> For real. Like I'm going back there, man. So this day and shit is totally different from back in the days and the. 90s to 2000s to 80s, 70s. Man, that's when I wanted to come up. Like, like when your parents were you know, coming up in the 70s, 60s, depending on how old people's parents are. Yeah. And, you know, like us coming up in the 90s and the 2000s, 2010s, you know. And now we're here in 2023. <laughs> 2023. Like, man, man, it's been a journey, man. And hey, the, 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 dating, the dating scene is just like everybody for they self. Like, at the end of the day, I feel like everybody for they self. Hey, I, that's how life is, man. Hey, don't yeah. think, hey, don't, hey, that's your journey. You're by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You're by yourself. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. You might have family, a shorty, your girl, your wife, whatever. But guess what? You're by yourself. <laughs> hey, he said it. And it's the truth. <laughs> like It's the truth, though. Like, like uh, what I seen, uh, um, it was like a quote, like, Damn, I forgot how it was like actually quoted. It was, it was like a saying. Damn, I know it's a saying, but I forgot both of the motherfuckers for real. Like people only like for a season. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like like on your, you know, like on you, like when you're on your journey through life. You you know like just the situations you grow through like go through, and you might meet some you know you might meet some good ass people you might lose some good ass people, but it might not even be like y'all falling out or you know nothing like that. Mm -hmm. You know it'll just be like shit. They was just there for like a reason. They probably had a reason to be there for the time they was around. Yeah. Or whatever it be like. Hey, that. Some people for a reason and some people for a season. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the quote. Yeah, yeah, I heard I heard a couple times too, but um. Uh, but it was another one that I seen. I want the quote, but I'm gonna definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely let y'all know what that one was, cause that one was real, real enlightening about you know. You could grind with people, you know, do what you do with people. And some people here for the long haul and some ain't. Like, more of the story. Hey, uh, damn, I think I already said this, though. But, but how I live life, everything happened for a reason. So don't be asking God, why me? Why this had to happen to me? Why this? Oh, you like, it's, you it's a learning phase. You talking about like, like why me? Yeah, like, like yeah. I asked God, why me? Yeah. Who else? Who else he wanted that to happen to? It was in your journey. It happened to you. It was meant to happen. Yeah, that's definitely real shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was meant to happen. Yeah. Like, don't it's be part asking, of your journey. Hey, don't be asking God why anyway. Don't don't do that. You know what I'm saying? This, hey, 
whatever happened, it was meant to happen. It's, it's just a learning phase. It's, it's, it's meant for you to build off of it, for real. He only put the he won't he only put the strongest through the strongest things in life. The strongest God only put the strongest through the strongest struggles through the strongest the the strongest days. Like he wanna see he Man. wanna see how strong you is. Yep. Look, he brought he brought women on this earth to be strong. And why I say that, they they're having babies. They gotta go through uh um they pause phase. Period. If y'all ain't get yeah, I, I call it pause, but they gotta go through that phase. They he knew man was supposed to be man that's supposed to be strong. He already made women strong. Like, that's why women can't live without men. That's why women can't have a baby and be like, they don't need you. Because they can really show a nigga that they don't need him. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He already made women strong. That's why women can raise their kids by themselves. You know what I'm saying? But he, he brought a man, he brought a man in this world to put him through things to see how strong he is. You know what I'm saying? And he puts you through the strongest things to see how strong you is and is you gonna is you gonna go through with it or is you gonna do this or do that like he he go he push people through the strongest trials and tribulations strongest battles y'all know who Al Iverson is oh man only the strong survive oh man that man that was his motto Man, that man, he went through the strongest shit. He still prevailed. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, Lord. Right. He still prevailed. Bitch, do it all. He, he did what he had to do. For sure. God put man through the strongest things in life, the strongest battles. That's why women are already like more mature than men. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. You, in a you know, sense. It, 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 it depends. Not all women. It depends on how they was raised. Too. How they was raised, yeah. It depends on how they was raised and who they grew up around. Yeah. Like, they might not have a mama or grandma, but they have a they had a strong ass older sister. Yeah. That molded her and like showed, a mentor. Yeah, you know like, what I'm like saying. Type of figure. That show her, and then it could have been her. Her aunties and then like you know what I'm saying that molded her like, and then some and then some and some girls they do have like their fathers and their mothers in in their life, and I feel like them be the strongest women, too. Yeah. I I feel like cause cause why well, I say that cause they got both parents. Oh yeah, you talking about like yeah? They, they got their daddy. They got their daddy. Yeah, two parent household. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got both sides. Yeah. They definitely got both sides. So that's why I say like, because they learn it from a woman and they learn it from a man. Yeah. yeah. And they learn how a man can be. And even if from even their father, and depending on how their father is, they won't. They want their man to be like their father in mm -hmm. some, you know, some type of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. far as like characteristics, you know, traits, mm -hmm. like ambitious, you know, the, you know, just depending on if they really look up to their father. That's yeah. how I, you know, that's how I, that's what I would say. And I'm sure they, you know, it's a lot of uh, females that feel like that. That can grow up with their father. And I say, and and I and I say another thing too. Um, um, hey, do you think a man being a man in a relationship and a boyfriend being a boyfriend in a relationship is different? Hold on, you talking about like, you talking about a husband and a boyfriend? You said a man and a boyfriend. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'm gonna put it like that then. Like, like a boyfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you th- do you feel like a boyfriend should do husband like activity? That's what you're saying. Like a boyfriend yeah. doing husband activity. Like what a husband do, a boyfriend should be doing. That's what you're saying. No, do you think a boyfriend from a husband is different? A boyfriend, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cause some gonna just play their part as just being a boyfriend, and then some gonna take that husband role. It just depends. It just depends on the people and the situation. Yeah, I would say, like how they pursuing it, cause some would just be a boyfriend and not never marry her. You know what I'm saying? And she mm-hmm. don't want to get married. And then you know, vice versa. It'll be the dude he want to marry her. But she don't want to marry him. She just want to yeah. be a girlfriend. She don't want to be no wife. Yeah. She just want to be for the streets. <laughs> for the street? no, she just want to be for the streets, maybe. She's you know what I'm saying? She only there for a street. season. Like, I mean, it be like that. that. Like, relationships don't last. Marriages don't last. Man. I'm sure we all know somebody that been through a marriage yeah. or a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, that didn't last. They probably been together 10, 20 years. And this shit still didn't last. This shit was yeah. toxic the whole way through. Yeah. So, like, relationships, I, I think, yeah. totally different now. Yeah. I think, and then I think people got to mold their self. If they, if they, if they see, they, uh, if they see them being with each other, I think they got to mold their self in the, uh, the boyfriend, the boyfriend, girlfriend stage. They got to more they self um, for the husband and wife stage. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to take it to the next level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you got to build yourself up. You got to build yourself up uh, in them type of situations because it seemed like it's it seemed, it seemed like when you um, I don't know um in a in a boyfriend girlfriend stage, I feel like you gotta build yourself up because like then when you get married, you already know what to expect, what to do, <laughs> how to how to maneuver how to maneuver and all that. Like you already know, but I think like the boyfriend girlfriend stage, I think that be the most uh, loving and caring. And then when the um, the husband and wife stays, I think that's when it's like that shit go down here quick, like quick, <laughs> like quick, like, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like that it like yeah. y'all be so in love, like boyfriend girlfriend stays, like, and then the wife and husband, like why y'all couldn't stay in it love? It totally like, changed. Why? It totally changed, and I just know from. People that's married, yeah, you know, yeah, like they yeah. tell me this. I never been married and nothing like that, so I always ask. I don't know too much about it, but I just know from what I see and what people tell me. And people have told me like one well, of my homeboys told me that it changed. Like she was cool. He said I can go to the. He said I can go to the gas station, to the G station, the room. and. Hey, I know that's what I was saying though, because that's I I just I just and then and then it's me too. I learn off people um, fuck ups, people mistakes that they did, and like I learn from that. I learn from that too. Like that's and then like I catch a lot of um, lifts and shit, and uh, I be asking them. Are you married? I ask them how their marriage going. Someone be like, "Oh, I've been married three times. I've been married two. I'll be like, I'll be like, how it go? Really, not even want to ask how it go because I already knew how it went. If he been married, or she been married two or three times, like, but that's how it be though. 
they had a boyfriend girlfriend stage, and when they got married, <laughs> and that's why I was saying earlier, I want to get to really know a person and build with her, and then if it's meant, then we can fall into that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to build it up. You got to figure the whole person out, living with them, seeing what they toxic traits is, and because they'll bust your shit up. For real. Put your clothes out, all that. Like we were saying earlier. So, dating is totally not the same. We got to normalize it. Get it back to where it's 50-50. And, and a lot of women don't. Go ahead, bro. And uh, another thing I wanted to say, and don't suffer inside. Don't suffer inside. Don't suffer inside, my brothers. Don't suffer inside. Don't think, oh, I've been with her like three, three four years. I can't find nobody else. So I'm going to stay with her. But I'm I'm struggling. I ain't, she don't give me what I want. She don't do this. She don't do that. She not being the person I want. Don't suffer inside. Move around. It's okay. It's okay. Sure it is. They'll respect you more. Because what she ain't going to do, somebody will. Don't suffer inside. Don't stick around. So if it's meant for you to move around, move around. It was meant to happen, like I was saying earlier. See, I'm bringing stuff back that I was saying earlier. I'm just speaking it out. <laughs> <laughs> don't move around. I mean, I mean, not, yeah, move around. Don't, hey, it's okay. That's Plenty of women out there. <laughs> women too. Women too. Women too. I ain't just gonna say man. Women too. It's plenty of men out there. Don't stick around. Yep. Protect your peace at all costs. Like I was saying earlier. Protect <laughs> <laughs> your peace at all costs. <laughs> For real though. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. I just want to put that out there, man. Yeah. Like drop them yeah. gems, bro. Like don't, hey, don't stick around. I've been. I'm. I'm just telling y'all what I've been. Like what I went through. Like you know what I'm saying. And 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 I got I got plenty of blessings out of it. I got plenty of blessings. Like I learned. I learned from every situation that I've ever been in. That's why I never asked out why. It was meant to have for me. It was in my journey. So. I'm just telling y'all, man. Like, you know, hey, it's it's okay to be single. It's okay to be single. You get lonely sometimes, but it's okay to be single till you can find that right one. That right one. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get yourself together. That's all it is. That's it. And then y'all can. Some people grow together and some people grow apart. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're single. That's like God telling you to get yourself together. Yeah. That's how I would kind of look at it. Uh-huh. And like just get on your, you know, get on your grind, get on your journey of doing what you got to do. Yeah. Like we were saying earlier, that was in your journey. Yeah. You know, like, Everything. like okay, his ass going to be single this time. You know, mm -hmm. at, at this point in time, he's like, he need to be single and need to get himself together type of deal. Yeah. So... We definitely got to normalize dating. We got to stop doing all the crazy shit. And, you know, just live life to the fullest. Have fun. For yeah. real, man. Enjoy life for real. Yeah, enjoy life. Because, you know, one day at a time. Because tomorrow ain't promised. So. Man, for real. Maybe like just need to, you know, take it. When you meet somebody, just take it slow. And you'll figure out if that person really into you. And you, you know, they ain't, you know, if you got common sense, you will know. And so, 
energy is everything. And the energy, yeah. I'm very big on energy, so. We very big on energy. And the energy is everything. So that definitely will let you know off the energy. And that's why, and that's why I was saying earlier, I'll be falling back because I see the energy. I feel the energy. Is it? And and sometimes I get I get girls number and stuff. I can feel their energy before they even give me the number. I be like, oh no, I ain't gonna be talking about that long. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I, I ain't gonna talk about that long. Yeah, I ain't gonna. And sometimes, and sometimes I get the number and don't even. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, call. I'm gonna hit him up. Right, yeah. Okay. Whatever. That be me. Like, hey. Yeah, so just take your time. Get to know people. Because once you jump in the bed with them, and don't it's be, over. <laughs> hey, and, it's and, over. and another thing, another thing. Because they're going to trap you. They're going to try to trap you. Or it ain't going to work. Unless y'all got some good chemistry and, and y'all another, on the right same page. And another thing, don't be connecting. Don't be connecting y'all. Don't be soul ties with everybody too. Don't be doing that too. I mean, uh -uh. don't be connecting ourselves with everybody. No, you can't do that. You know, Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, do don't be do don't be doing that. No way. Because you you you'll still have like a tie to somebody, but she wants somebody. Oh my bad, bro. But she wants somebody else so bad, but she still got this tie. To somebody else, you like, gotta let go. You just gotta let that go, to and receive. then come up with a layup with the other shorty. You know? Yeah, it's like you, <laughs> it's like you holding on to something. Yeah, but you you gotta let that go to to catch something. You ain't got two hands. For real, it's if you hold on to two <laughs> things. You gotta let something go to receive something, and that be the thing. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> pass, pass that off to whoever. Yeah, Ali it to somebody. Right. They can get the rebound. For real, though, man. Yeah, <laughs> we going to wrap this one up. I appreciate you, uh, Prince Jabril, bro. And it's been, it been a good one. This bro. Good. Yeah, it's definitely been a good one. We definitely got to do this again. Oh, yeah, for sure. I want to uh, go ahead and plug all your, uh, your uh, you know, uh, contacts. Um, y'all can follow me at um, Prince Jabril, everything, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook. I think I'm uh, Big Goat, Jean J, Jean J. Um, yeah, but uh, tap me into all my music, like I was saying earlier. Um, Mo lit shit coming. You know what I'm saying? More blessings coming. The grind still going. The motion still in and route. For sure. Appreciate everybody that been tapping in. What's the word podcast? And I appreciate Tail Lee for having me on here. Oh, Y'all sure, tap bro. in with what's what's the word podcast? Cause the word is what's the word. Every Wednesday at six PM. You heard what the man said. Tap in. Hit that button. Make sure you hit that button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make, make sure you Drop subscribe. Drop a comment. Because every time he drop, you're going to get it. You're going to get it before anybody else will get it. For sure. You don't want to be late. You'll be like, damn, I got to catch up now. <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button. When he drop, you're going to get it. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, that. And I'll see y'all on segment 15. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.